I hope you cashed good money following yesterday's two free plays. We took Gavin Williams to record over four and a half strikeouts and he finished with five. I also suggested to grab Ryan Feltner to record over 15 and a half outs at positive odds and he ended up racking up 21 because he lasted seven innings on the mound in Cincinnati. We have a lot to talk about in this video because my 19 MLB betting systems have a lot of betting recommendations for today, Tuesday, July 9. In fact, I'm going to share four betting picks with you, including one that fits under the money printing system called the scoring drought. Sounds good? Let's go! First of all, we have a play qualifying under the cold team versus hot team matchup betting system. I am not a big fan of this betting strategy because, as you can see on your screen, it has performed very poorly over the past three seasons. However, it is off to a very solid start in the 2024 campaign. Here are its rules. Bet the road team if they have lost at least one game in a row, whenever they are facing a home club that's coming off at least four wins in a row. In the current case, Cleveland is the visiting squad and they have lost one straight game. They are traveling to Detroit against a Tigers team that's riding a four-game winning streak. For this reason, pick number one for July 9 goes to the Cleveland Guardians. To me, the line is reasonable on the Guardians, especially considering the Ben Lively vs Kenta Maeda matchup. The Detroit starter has been dreadful with his new organization, as evidenced by his 6.71 ERA and 1.52 whip statistic. Moreover, having 48 strikeouts in 63 innings is very bad. I've got to side with Cleveland in this AL Central Division matchup. My second pick in Major League Baseball for July 9 supports a home underdog, the Tampa Bay Rays. I would be cautious with this wager because my own analysis of this game does not love the Tampa Bay. But the Rays are backed by a betting system that I absolutely love. The system in question is called the blowout number three. It is very selective with an average of 17 picks per season. Its rules are simple and they are in line with my contrarian approach. Bet any team coming off a loss by an 11 run margin or more if they are facing a different opponent today. In this case, Tampa's last match ended with a 13-2 victory by the Rangers. As you can see, the Rays lost by an 11-run margin and they are indeed squaring off against another club today. Therefore, they are meeting all criteria for betting and that explains the Tampa pick. For some reason, I am still wary of this play. I know that Carlos Rodon has struggled in each of his past four starts, but I could see him bouncing back with a solid effort today. Meanwhile, Ryan Pepiot just cannot seem to pitch deep into games. He often pitches between 3 and 5 innings, and his 4.40 ERA leaves a lot to be desired. Still, I'm going to put my faith into the blowout number 3 system, so I'll go with the Rays to pick up the W against their arch rivals tonight. Let's keep rolling with two more betting tips after this short break. We have a great showdown coming up between the Dodgers and the Phillies at Citizens Bank Park tonight. In this game, Bobby Miller will square off against Zach Wheeler. Obviously, the edge goes to Philly in terms of the pitching duo. Wheeler is super trustworthy, but his 4.72 career ERA against LA is worrisome. Meanwhile, Bobby Miller showed a lot of promise in his rookie season via a 3.76 ERA. 
but things have gone downward in his second year with an awful 6.12 ERA. Ouch! Pretty much all of his six starts went badly, except the first one against the Cardinals. His manager decided to give him extra days for this start, which is probably a sound idea. It will be interesting to see how it plays out. It's no surprise that the Phillies are established as favorites in this match, since they own a slightly better record than the Dodgers, they are at home, and they have the much better hurler on the mound. Now, do any of my 19 betting angles have a suggestion regarding this game? The answer is yes! In this case, the system named the big upset number 2 applies to one of these teams. Out of my 19 systems, this is the only one that has shown a positive profit in each of the past 4 seasons, so you've got to pay attention to it. Here is how it works. Suppose you have a team called Team X, who was the victim of a big upset in its last match. According to historical data, a big upset means the winning club had a money line above plus 150 in American format. Now, if Team X is an underdog today and they are facing a different club, then you must bet against Team X. LA's last game ended with a 9-2 defeat against the Brewers. Milwaukee's closing line with Pinnacle was plus 156, so this has to be viewed as a big upset. Now that the Dodgers are facing a different opponent, and they are underdogs today, we must fade them. For this reason, my third MLB pick for Tuesday, July 9, goes to the Philadelphia Phillies to win straight up against LA. I am crossing my fingers that Wheeler will find a way to do better against the Dodgers than what he's done in the past. My fourth MLB pick is one of my premium picks for the day. It qualifies under the famous scoring drought system that owns a 25 record this year after presenting a 36 and 6 record last season. If you merge these two years together, you end up with a ROI exceeding 20%, which is mind-boggling. The system points towards big home favorites by design. While that is not very exciting, it looks like the system is picking its spots very wisely. In short, it advises to bet against the road team if its money line is higher than plus 150 in American format, and if they have lost their past two matches by scoring two runs or fewer in each of those defeats. Colorado is a big road underdog today, and they were on the losing end of both of their two most recent games. During those games, they only managed to put zero and one run on the board. So, by following the scoring drought betting strategy, my fourth pick goes without hesitation on the Cincinnati Reds. Cal Quantrill gets the nod for the Rockies. He is pretty inconsistent, but he can have good games on occasion, so I would not bet my house on Cincinnati. Nick Lodolo takes the mound for the Reds. He's been out of action for the past couple of weeks due to a blister on his pitching hand. He hasn't made any rehab start, so he may be limited in this game. He has posted rock-solid numbers in 2024, but will he be as effective today? In short, there are some uncertainties regarding this game that makes me pump the brakes a little bit. I am still putting my hard-earned money on Cincinnati, but I prefer to be a bit cautious with the amount of my bet, personally. Did you enjoy today's content? If so, show your appreciation with a quick click on the thumbs up button and by leaving a positive comment. That's the best reward I can get from you, my savvy sports betting friends. I'm Professor MJ, looking forward to see you again tomorrow.